So if you're watching this, thank you. Please like, subscribe, be a man, two, two, three. Now, the Brett and Judy have, or Jessica, I don't know what her name is. Brett calls her Judy. I'm going to call her Judy. So they went out and um, told everybody that they chose a white sperm donor for um, their child who is soon to be born. And um, they stated that the reasoning was because the lone black donor looked like Jiminy Cricket. Now, listen, you can laugh at that if you want to. But me personally, I think that's uh, disrespectful even coming from a black person. Don't get out here and tell us that you didn't choose the black person because the black person didn't look like you wanted them to look. Don't get out here and tell me that. When I feel like in my heart and my husband and I went out and had a bet that who the child's father would be, my husband stated that she they would choose someone that they knew and he his bet was on AI, Allen Iverson, and my bet was that it would be somebody white. Now, I didn't figure they'd go out and get a sperm donor. I figured they'd go out and find someone that they knew, someone who could be in the kid's life when the kid asked about its father. And, um, you know, but apparently they didn't. They went to a sperm bank, which has not been confirmed, but that's just what I think. Now, um, I'm not going to sit back and believe that you didn't choose a black person because of how they looked. I'm going to sit up and believe that you chose to have a white person, which is nothing wrong with that. Okay, I want to throw that out there. But I believe you went and chose a white person to be your sperm donor because A, you wanted your kid to have long, beautiful, curly hair. And B, you wanted a beautiful kid. Because technically, when people think that a person is biracial being black and white, that that kid is going to have long, beautiful, curly hair. And that that kid's going to look a certain type of way. That kid's going to be beautiful. That kid's probably going to be light-skinned. And that is what the world wants today. Light-skinned people with beautiful curly hair. Or they want you to be a super dark-skinned person with really bad hair, as they think. You know, no black person has bad hair, per se. You know, unless you got those dreadlocks that you don't take care of. But anyways, like, subscribe, BMAC223, and let me know what you think.